You're watching Unrelent Gaming. This is Beerus, the god of destruction. Make sure you subscribe to Unrelent Gaming and push the like button for me, or else I'll hakai you from existence. Oh, and do make sure to watch the entire video all the way through. And to follow Unrelent Gaming on both Instagram and Twitter. Whis, enough. On to the video. Ladies and gentlemen, the time has finally arrived. Jump Festa 2022 is now officially here. As for many months, for almost well over a year, many people, including myself, have often wondered about what the upcoming 2022 Dragon Ball Super superhero movie was going to be about, and today, we finally have our answer. So, beginning with both Gamma 1 and Gamma 2, we finally have a reveal as to who the voice actors for these characters are going to be, as those voice actors are going to be none other than the gentleman having to be listed on your screen here. Now, I am very unfamiliar with their work but what i will say is that gamma 1 and gamma 2 actually refer to themselves and basically have conversations from a third person perspective as an example if gamma 1 is speaking then he is going to refer to himself by asking gamma 1 demands food you know what i mean so that's the way these characters are going to be portrayed but it doesn't end there so we at least know how these characters are going to be functioning moving forward but masako nozawa herself actually commented on the red ribbon army having to be back and how the movie itself is going to have a good balance between battle and drama as it is set to tell the tale involving the red ribbon army following their dismemberment and showcasing more of the illustration by having the gammas fight but on top of this we actually have an additional trailer in which we're going to be showing you guys right now So if there's anybody who's going to be standing out in this movie more so than anybody else, it's going to be Gohan. So not only are Goku and Vegeta going to be doing their own thing, presumably on Beerus' planet and having to train Broly, but elsewhere, Gohan's going to be having even more shine by having to fight these individuals by himself. And it's not really to suggest that Goku and Vegeta aren't going to be involved because they are, but the primary focus of this movie really isn't going to be about Broly. It isn't going to be about Vegeta. It isn't mainly going to be about Goku either it's going to be about the overall premise of introducing the superhero aspect by having gohan shine more than anybody else and if you've been wanting to see gohan shine more so than anybody in dragon ball super then this is going to be the movie for you because gohan's going to have a bigger role i would dare say in having a prominent role to fight gamma one and two more so than anybody else and if that's something that kind of tickles your fancy then again this is going to be the movie for you. Now, in case some of you guys are probably wondering when this movie is going to come out, well, we finally have a date, April 22nd, 2022. 42222 is when the movie is going to be released so again keep in mind this is only for japan so unless you plan on going to japan or doing something of the sorts to actually go see the movie out there then the movie will be dropping on 42222 with no expected global release date for the americas or for the uk that kind of sucks but we're gonna have to wait and see what happens because with dragon ball super broly dragon ball super broly originally came out in december of 2018 and then everybody got a chance to see it the following month in January of 2019. So there's no doubt in my mind that this movie might be doing the same thing and it might have a global release date shortly after. But again, until we get more information, we're going to have to wait and see. But mark the dates down on your calendar because that's when the movie drops. Now, here's something that might shock all of you and this is what's about to happen. So the Granola arc is just about to enter its climax and the new arc for Dragon Ball Super is set to be dropping roughly around next year. We don't know when, 
but in 2022, presumably towards probably the end, is when we're going to be seeing the debut of the new arc following the events of Granola. So that's going to be a big thing because in order for us to move forward, we need to kind of see where this goes and make no mistake about it from what they're saying. It looks as though the Granola arc is going to be coming to an end in 2022. So make sure you guys also keep your eyes and ears peeled out for that one. But in the end, I want to go in ahead and get your thoughts in the comment section below about Dragon Ball Super Superhero. And if you guys are excited, if you guys are kind of disappointed, if you're either reserving judgment until the movie comes out, and more importantly, in terms of the overall narrative involving the Red Ribbon Army, involving Goku, Vegeta, Gohan, who looks spectacular, Pan, I want to go in ahead and get your thoughts on how you think this movie is going to be structured narratively, and if you honestly believe this movie might actually be better than Dragon Ball Super Broly, or if it might be a little subpar to that movie, only considering the fact that we had Shintani work on that movie, and the overall tone of the film was very different by comparison. So again, I want to go on ahead and get your feedback down below. We're going to be covering more and have more information for you all as everything continues to progress. So again, thank you all so much for watching. Thank you all so much for your time. If you guys are excited for this movie and cannot wait to watch it simply because we're getting more Dragon Ball Super content, then I do encourage you guys to drop a like on the video by smashing that like button down below. Also, hit that subscribe button if you guys are new by clicking on the bell icon to also be notified as to whenever a brand new video is posted onto this channel. Tune back in for more. I am kind of excited to see where this goes in terms of the overall narrative i'm not a fan of the cgi stuff i'm sorry i think that originally what they should have done is just either have kept shintani or have brought aboard all of their best animators because this whole cgi stuff like i understand why they're trying to do it i just don't think that it personally fits dragon ball it might fit demon slayer or my hero academia stuff like that but i don't think in my own opinion that is this suitable for dragon ball but that's just me hopefully as we enter 2022 we get to see more from this film and they polish up the cgi stuff and they kind of go on to reveal more from the aesthetic point that kind of gets people to be drawn a bit more in instead of looking at this like one giant cutscene of a game you know what i mean but i'm excited there are so many elements to this movie that i feel like might be really really good and to actually see gohan once again take center stage in having him have the fight of his life thus far do i think is very satisfying at least for me so i want to go ahead and get your thoughts down below thank you all so much for watching once again tune back in for more and i'll be seeing each and every single one of you down in the comment section below and in the next video take it easy guys and have a great day peace this is the galactic emperor of the universe and of course i'm here to tell you to subscribe to unrelent gaming also follow unrelent gaming on these social media platforms to stay connected at all times and if you don't then very soon you will all be dead <laughs> oh did someone say unrelent gaming oh my god the fuck's up on put on some clothes well why don't you put on any clothes what? I don't need clothes! Jesus Christ, that's huge! <laughs> what, Broly? Freezer. Uh oh. Prepare to die! Whoever we are gaming, but once you get video, all lots of likes, or Bill will turn you into chocolate! Fados, get over here! Tell these mortals that I'm the biggest Unreal Ed gaming fan! This is my moment! I'm a part of his notification squad! Universe 7 can have all the fun! I just want the food! And don't forget to leave a comment on this video! Show some love for the best community on YouTube! <laughs> K -k -k -k